we're going to take a look at frequency tables and histograms in this video. Uh, a frequency table is just a way that you might organize some of your data. So you've probably seen these in primary school, so we'll just go over it again uh, really quickly. So here we've got 20 people who were asked how many times they were they had been to the zoo. And these were their responses. So you've got sort of anywhere from zero times to, to four times that they had been to the zoo. And when we write the data uh, the way it is right here, this is called raw data. And this is before we've sort of grouped or made any sense of the data, this is what we would have. And it's really hard to make any sort of conclusions about the data when it's in this form. So to organize it, we'll put it in a tally chart, uh, a tally and then a frequency table. So. Uh, this first number here means uh, the first person who responded said that they had been to the zoo twice. So we would put a mark down here under two. And I'm just going to cross these off as I go along so I can keep track. The next person went four times, so I would put a mark or a tally beside four. One time, three times, another one, and you probably get the idea. So we'll just speed the video up from here. Okay, so we've got all of our data into our, our tally chart. And you probably noticed that when I got to five, like I did right here, I marked the fifth one with a line straight across the other four. That just makes it easier to count if you have a lot of data. So in the frequency column right here, we're going to put uh, how many times people said zero. So we've got two people that said they went to the zoo never. And then I've got five people in this uh, one trip to the zoo. Seven people made two trips to the zoo, sorry, trips to the zoo. Four people made three trips to the zoo and two people made four. Okay, and our total frequency should be 20 here. So let's just check. Two plus five is seven, plus another seven is 14, plus four is 18, plus two is 20. So my total frequency is 20, which is good. That is how many people we asked. So uh, it means that I didn't miss any of the data. So that's a frequency table. From a frequency table, we can make a bar chart or a histogram. So this one, this first one here is a bar chart, okay? And the second one is a histogram. So have a look at the two and see if you can note any differences between the two graphs. Okay, so hopefully you've seen that in the bar chart, the bars are not touching each other. So we've got spaces in between the bars and a bar chart is most frequently used to display categorical data. And over here in the histogram, you can see the bars are touching. And that is, uh, we normally use a histogram to display uh, quantitative data. And especially continuous data, so you can see height, uh, if you remember from the first video, is uh, continuous. So, that, so a histogram is what we would use to display something like that. Okay, from this point on, I'm going to switch over to the CAS calculator, and we're going to look at how your calculator can create a histogram from a frequency table. So we can use our CAS calculator to uh, do lots of different types of graphs um, for us. So we're going to look at histograms today. And uh, the way we do this is when you're in your home screen, you're first going to click on this icon here that looks like a little spreadsheet. So we're going to use the uh, list and spreadsheet function. So if you click on that, you'll see that on your screen now you get uh, something that looks exactly like a spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the data that we were looking at for the frequency table, the people that have gone to the zoo and we're going to enter it into the spreadsheet. So the first thing you should do is you should give your column a uh, name. So uh, we can call it Zoo Trips. And it's important that there's no spaces in the name, so you need to type it in as all one word. And it needs to go right in the top, like the very first row, where it, it's got like a little A in the, in the corner there. OK, and then we're just going to proceed to put in our data. So. Uh, the first person member said two and then four. So you can go along and put this in your calculator with me.
Okay, so now I've got all three pieces of data in the spreadsheet. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the menu button and you're going to press number three, which says data, and you're going to click on number nine, which is quick graph. Okay, and that gives us a, a graph there. It looks a little bit like a bar chart. We're going to change it into a histogram just by hitting the menu key again. Uh, and then we want a uh, plot type. So we'll press number one and you can see there, number three, there is a histogram. So if we click three, we can see that it's transforming all of our data into a histogram. Now you can change the scale on the axes. So uh, along the x-axis, we have the, the zoo trips. So the number of times people went to the zoo and then we've got frequency always along the uh, y-axis. So we can change the scale by going back to menu and then clicking on number five, which is window slash zoom, and then going to window settings. So if our, if our data starts at zero, so if you're just dealing with positive numbers, um, which we are because numbers of uh, people going to the zoo are always going to be zero or more, we can set our minimum at uh, negative 0 0.5, so that's just going to give us, um, with a histogram, it always goes 0 0.5 either way. Uh, and then our maximum, we can, our maximum number of trips to the zoo was 4, so we can just change that to 5, so we've got a nice scale. And then our maximum frequency, I think, was at 7, so we can just have our maximum at 8. And then if we press OK, you can see it's just scaled a little bit nicer. So from this, we could ask lots of questions. You can see here that this is two people um, have gone to the zoo zero times. This second bar represents the amount of people that have gone to the zoo once, twice, three times, and four times. Now we can actually change the scale, um, the frequency there to a percentage. So we can look at um, sort of the amount of people that went to the zoo zero times as a percentage of the whole, as opposed to just um, the raw frequency at two. So we do this by uh, clicking the menu key again, and now we're going to plot properties, number two, and then histogram properties, and then we're gonna go to histogram scale. And you can see you can change that from frequency to percent by clicking number two. And now it tells us what percentage of the people went uh, on sort of different trips to the zoo. So if you look for uh, this one here, so that's zero, zero trips to the zoo, one trip to the zoo, two trips to the zoo. This bar represents three trips to the zoo. 20% of people went on three trips to the zoo. Okay, so once we've done that, sometimes it is easier to put the data into a spreadsheet as a frequency table instead of putting the data in one by one, which is what we did first. So we're going to look at that next. Okay, so now I've set up my um, spreadsheet here so that it looks like the frequency table we had. So, you know, when we did the, the tally chart, uh, now looking at the frequency table. So column A, you see I've still got um, called zoo trips, but this time I've just got zero, one, two, three, or four. So that was uh, the amounts of times people had said they'd gone to the zoo. And then in column B, I've got the total frequency. So if you recall, two people went to the zoo no times, five people went once, and so on. So just take a minute to set up the same thing on your calculator before we move on. Now to draw a histogram from this point, we're going to go to menu, uh, data again, same as before, but this time we're going to choose number eight, which is called summary plot. Now the X list, that's what you want represented on your X axis. That's kind of what you're measuring. So in this case, we're measuring how many times people went to the zoo. So I'm going to have the zoo trips along the X axis and the summary list is the frequency. You can either choose to display your histogram on a split page, which is what we did before, or you can display it on a new page. So we'll see what that looks like. And now if I click OK, you'll see I now have my uh, histogram and it's exactly the same histogram as it was before. We just got to it a little bit quicker by putting our data in a frequency table first. 
Okay, so that's the end of this video. Uh, so we're just looking at um, taking our raw data, putting it into a frequency table, and then from there using our CAS calculator to display this information in a histogram.